Talkman, yep, you got it. He just did it again. Talkman with a laser out to right. And he drives it into right center field, hit a ton. This baby is way back. Let the trades begin for the 2021 season, and the San Francisco Giants are on the phone with the Yankees, and it looks like we're going to be sending Wandy Peralta over to New York in exchange, in exchange for a uh, know, outfielder with some pop named Mike Talkman. This is somebody who I definitely know about. He's a guy who's had a nice season a couple years ago. We'll look at his stats, but I mean, he hasn't been like fantastic. You know, he's not. It's not exactly a Mike Trout or uh, anything like that. But hey, you know what? It's somebody right now with the injury. You know, to Yaz. We don't know when we're going to get Yaz back healthy. This is just a kind of move, just to get somebody with a, a left handed with power to help out with those splits. We do have Steven Duggar, but apparently. You know, Giants, not too high on Duggar lately, so I think that this is the deal. And Peralta hasn't pitched that great this year, but Peralta's a lefty with some good stuff as well. So, yeah, I mean, I, I hate to see Peralta go. I'll kind of give my overall thoughts here on this trade at the end of the video, but let's take a look at the article and see what's uh, what it says here about this deal. It sends 30-year-old Talkman back to the NL West where he was. He did play with the Rockies from uh, 17 to 18. He was unable to establish himself there, got traded to the Yankees for a left-hander as well. And then he looked like a steal for the Yankees. 87 games, hit 277, 361 on base, 504, slugging 13 bombs, 6 steals, and uh, played very well over 296 plate appearances. Togman blended that offensive performance with great work among all three outfield positions, uh, combining for 19 defensive run saves so the dude can play defense as well. But since then, his playing time has definitely dropped in New York. And obviously, the Yankees have, you know, Judge, Frazier, Hicks, Gardner. This was a deal that definitely made sense for the Yankees and for the Giants, again, to get somebody for now. And now, is Talkman going to still be on this team in the lineup or at least on the 26-man roster come, you know, August, you know, September? It's, it's not a guarantee. It's definitely not a guarantee. You know, how it depends on how well he does. You know, especially when we got guys like Slater and Dickerson and Dubon and Ruff and uh, guys that, you know, we love. You know, I would love to, for Talkman to come over here and just, you know, start crushing the ball and, and be a great story. But, you know, I don't think this is a massive, you know, big trade or anything or a game changing type deal. Um, it's just a, a deal to help the team. And possibly, you know, right now we're saying, okay, to have Talkman is more likely to get us an extra win, you know, over the course of the season as opposed to, you know, Peralta, who hasn't pitched that well. He's got some good mid-90s stuff, but as it says here, he typically has trouble keeping runs off the board. And that's something we don't want. Peralta, 4.72 ERA throughout his career, 192-plus innings, unspectacular strikeout and walk percentages. I mean, he's a guy I kind of like as a lefty coming out of the pen. He has minor league options remaining. Uh, I, I don't know. I mean, I think just man for man, I, I think it's a decent trade. The problem is, of course, it's also, I don't know if it says here. Oh, yes, right here. It will. New York will also receive a player to be named, which is like, okay, who's that going to be? I don't know yet. So that's the only thing that concerns me. I would have been happy with it if it was, was one for one, but with that player to be named, I think that I think the Yankees got a pretty good deal here. But again, you know, neither one of these are our massive game changers, you know, but somebody like Talkman could be someone that we could use for a while and help out. And losing Peralta, you know, we, we got a new guy. We got Jake McGee. We got lefties in that pen who can who can pitch. And uh, we picked up some some more left handers and we got more in the minors. I just don't think it's that big of a deal. I don't think this is a massive uh, a loss of, for either side or a massive gain necessarily, but you know, I'm excited to see someone like Talkman if he can turn it around. And like I said, we were going to take a look at his stats. And here we have Talkman. And as you can see, the big season for him was 2019, not long ago. In fact, that was the last full regular season, right? Because 2020 was the shortened year. And 21, he's only had 14 AB, ABs. So 260 at bats in 19, hit 277. Not bad. 361 on base. Really nice on base percentage. 13 home runs. Okay. 47 RBI. I mean, it's not bad at all. 
You know, last year, you know, yeah, he went down to 242, 342, still a good on base. The guy can get on base. He didn't hit any home runs last year. He hadn't hit any this year. I think he'll hit one as a giant. I think he's going to go deep and maybe a little change of scenery. Maybe he'll get something going here. Not as much, you know, although we have some good outfielders too, as I mentioned, but maybe not, you know, exactly stacked like the Yankees might be. So, um, Overall, just as a temporary measure at a minimum, you know, while Yaz is, you know, struggling to come back a little bit of injury issues, this is a decent move right here. And I don't think Peralta, losing Peralta is, you know, a, a massive a blow. In fact, from what I've heard from uh, my commenters and, and live streams and stuff, you know, not too high on Peralta right now. Like, so all in all, it's a small deal, but it could be a big deal if Talkman comes over here and does something for the Giants. So I like the deal overall. But I, that's pending who that player to be named later is. As long as that's not some kind of impact guy, I'll be fine with this deal. So, guys, let me know what you think of the trade. Put it in the comment section below, and let's get ready for some baseball. Giants beat up on the Rockies yesterday. Let's do it again tonight. And I uh, can't wait to see you in the postgame show. Let me know what you guys think of this deal, and uh, we'll talk to you guys later. See ya! When the Giants come to town, it's fun. Oracle Park.